So, hi everybody. Um, over the past few days, Simon and I and some other students of the University of Augsburg dealt with the publication Visible Learning from John Hattie. Uh, the New Zealander released his book in 2009 and he brought together more than 50,000 studies with more than 200 billion students. Yeah, all of these studies focus on different influences that affect students' achievement, different teaching methods, ecological, social and academic factors, as well as the input of the student himself. Yeah. Yeah, Hattie separated the effectiveness of the various influences in different ranges. So if a method has the effect size of zero, it doesn't decrease the student's progress, but it's certainly unlikely to enhance it. Uh, in the range from 0 0.2 till 0 0.4, uh, there are typical effects of teachers on the students that can be accomplished in a normal year of teaching. So everything over this magical 0 0.4 so-called hinge point uh, leads to a desired effect on the students. So like we can see here, nearly everything has a positive impact on the student's achievement. So here we have the zero point effect size. So everything below decreases the student's achievement. So nearly everything has a positive impact on the student's achievement. So what we have to do now is pick out the few which have very high rated effect size on the student. We have over here. A lot of parents think homework is necessary for their children's success and yeah, many parents judge effectiveness of school uh, by the amount of homework. So let's see where homework ranks. You see homework has a low effect size of 0 0.29, thereby it ranks only on place 88. So what we will do now is take an influence which ranks way higher than the homework and we believe we can use the time we spend on homework in school and we can use it more effectively. So feedback yeah, it ranks on the 10th place and has an effect size of 0 0.73. Uh, so feedback has a high effect on the students. Okay, let's see. Uh, here we have a scale of the effect size starting with the negative effects um, where the reverse affected influences are ranked. Um, for example, uh, the summer vacation. Uh, and if we look now at the homework, it has nearly the same effect as relaxation or inclusion. So we don't have to throw it out the homework, but we can revolutionize it. Perhaps we use the higher ranked feedback. And it goes up to here and 0 0.73 and so we have a proposal for realizing the feedback at school and Simon he will deliver us insight into how much time is spent a year on correcting homework in school. So let's make an example. Take a subject you teach three times a week. So in Germany and America we have 14 weeks vacation that leaves 38 weeks of school a year, and if you spend an average of seven and a half minutes correcting homework per lesson, and we put these three all together, it makes 855 minutes a teacher spends on correcting homework per school a year for a period with, 50, with 45 minutes and our example with three classes per week. That means you spend more than six weeks on correcting homework a year. That's a whole lot of time. If you forget the homework, you can use that time for more effective lessons. So we have a proposal how to integrate feedback and use the time saved by not correcting homework. So step one must be no homework. You can use the time. In step two, when you have finished a chapter, you offer voluntary exercises for your students. But give no grades for these exercises. Use it for feedback. So the third, bit, third step is to inform the student about his goals and his mission. The focus lies on the process and on the working methods of the students. 
Do not just look at the correctness of the product. Help the students to reach their goals. If the student gets his feedback in the exam with a bad grade, the feedback comes too late. You have to give feedback at the right time. The exercise feedback doesn't frighten him because he gets no grades and he can use the feedbacks in his exam preparation. When he rereads them, he can also obliterate his weak points and improve his working methods. So they can evaluate the working strategies and thereby improves his grades. So try it in your class. The student will be happy because no homework and you have more time for more things than correcting homework for six weeks a year. We hope we gave you an impetus to try this new method by yourself. Good luck and goodbye.